One moment, please. Thanks, Colleen Peter. Hi, I had a general question about some assistance with an emotional support animal. Okay. Um, now, I've been told by um, a particular airline that I'm, I'm not allowed to bring this animal on the flight. And, um, you know, my whole, the whole time I've had this animal, it's, it's never really been a problem. And I just needed some advice because I'm feeling, well, very hurt, as you can imagine. It's, it's like a personal attack on, to me, I, I feel like, and my, in, in my animal, Cheryl. Um, and, and I didn't know what to do, so I thought I would just call you guys. Yeah, um, sorry to hear that's happening. I know a lot of airlines have been uh, kind of changing their policies. Oh, with how things have been going. is this is this a um, thing lately? Is that what's been happening? I I don't know much about it. I just know that oh. um, some of the deaths and then some of the deaths. Did you say deaths? Yeah, I think there was um, some animals that were forced to, uh, to be in like the overhead bins and they didn't make it. There was a bunch last year. Oh, I would never put sh- I would oh, never course, put sh- yeah. ever put Cheryl in an in an overhead thing. Who would ever do that to a beloved I, animal? I have no idea. I That's know. crazy. Um, but I think with all those things going on and all the press and everything, they were just kind of cracking down on things. So there are okay. some changes. I'm not really aware of all of them, but I'm going to connect you with our cruelty investigations department. They just handle all the animal stuff. Um, they would know best. If you just want to leave them your name and phone number, they can get back to you. Um, they track. Oh, I couldn't speak to someone. I couldn't speak to someone today about it, huh? Uh, they, I don't think they'd be calling back today because they're on, yeah. um, at the headquarters in Virginia, so it's, it's well, much later there. Oh, I'm calling where? Los Angeles, right? Yeah, uh, this, you're calling this office. But that's oh, this office. is Los Angeles, Peter. Yeah. Well, maybe you could just, uh, I mean, what do you think about the situation? Maybe I could get another person's opinion. You're obviously an expert with animals. I, I got a honey, I got a honey badger, but it's just, she's really, she's not very big. She was the runt of her litter. Her name is Cheryl. So she's only about as big as maybe a pit bull, and she's been declawed. And you know, this airline is telling me this is this is not the kind of animal they'll permit. But she's I've never had a problem with her. She can't scratch anybody because, like I said, she's been clawed, declawed. I admit the smell isn't so great, but I you know I I carry Axe body spray, which she seems to like, even though it's like for a man, but she just loves it. And so even the smell is is pretty decent. I've been told. Um, by the people that I've, you know, I brought it on the bus a few times. Um, so, I mean, what do you think? What do you advise? Uh, I'm definitely not an animal expert because uh, I work in HR, so I, that's not my department at all. I think the best would be the Cruelty Investigations Department. Uh, they know much more about it, uh, even, you know, different types of animals and everything. And um, yeah. I, I really don't know much about it. So Yeah, I mean, she's yeah. only... She bit, she bit a crossing guard, um, in, in 2009, but that was it. And I, you know, since then I keep her mouth kind of muzzled. Um, that was an incident that made the, made the media. I'm quite embarrassed about it. I'm wondering if the airline kind of Googled Cheryl, you know, the honey badger and then found that story. And they're just kind of, uh, they're, they're just discriminating against me because of past behavior, but she's much more behaved now. I give her, um, I give her some of that CBD oil, you know, have you given that to an animal lately? Wow, they really respond, you know, they're, they're very chill after that. Have you tried that? I haven't, no. Yeah, it's a thing, and it's it's affordable, and it's it's a great way to, to make it work. Um, do you want me to transfer you to the Cruelty Investigations Department? I really, I don't have any more information on that kind of thing. Oh, yeah, sure, that would be great. I appreciate that. Hopefully I can get, to, I can get Cheryl on the next flight. Okay, yeah, uh, um, I'll let them know. I can do a follow-up email. I'll let them know that you're waiting uh, to hear about a flight here. Over there. Yeah, just yeah. promise me you just promise me you won't Google honey badger attacks a crossing guard. I'm very ashamed of it myself. Okay, I will. Okay, thank you so much. Mm-hmm. I'll chance for you now. Thank you. Hello? Hello, you have reached Peter's Cruelty Investigations Department. 